Yo, what's going on, friends? So today I went ahead and made a kind of meta Witch Doctor build compendium for 2.4.1 in Season 6 for the Witch Doctor. Now, I did something similar in Season 5, and it was pretty well received. I think it's nice to have all of the top builds in one place as a reference point. That way you can just bookmark this page and... Uh, check it anytime you want to and that way you're not going all over the internet looking for all the specs you've got them all in one place this is going to be on diablo fans so first up we have the 90 plus viable specs so the top one being the helltooth garg build which looks to be the top build for this season and then you've got the some builds that aren't necessarily going to be the top of the line builds more than likely but they're still capable of pushing into the 90s if you want to play something a little bit different so you've got zuni pets here we got uh, 2.4.1 Jade Harvester. Now, personally, I only did an 86 with this on the PTR, but a 90 was completed on the PTR. And as I get better gear in Season 6, I will revisit it and try it out more. Now, a few other builds that have potential. Uh, some sort of version of Carnival, more than likely a Zuni version and a Legacy of Nightmares version could both do 90. And then probably Elowen Garg's Fire Bats has the potential to do 90 as well. I didn't add that up, though, just because I think Helltooth is just going to outperform it in pretty much every scenario. As far as T10 builds go, this kind of standard one is Helltooth Angry Chicken Pets for speed T10, and it's very, very good for bounties as well. It's very easy to gear for and very easy to play. Got the Walker LON Locust Swarm Pets build for T10 and also very good for low-level gem ups. This build is very gear dependent, but once you do have full Ancients and the Legacy of Nightmares ring set, I think this is one of the fastest T10 builds. Got the 2.4.1 Zuni Sages T10 Death's Breath speed farming build. This is pretty much the first time in the history of Reaper of Souls that Witch Doctor has a very fast DB farming spec. And you're really only able to run Zuni with Sages as a set just because of how the sets line up with the Sages set. The Zuni set gets a ring and an offhand allowing you to work the Sages set in there. And this build is going to be a little bit slower than other really fast T10 builds, but it's it's viable enough. You can do just about every run with this gear and around 800 Paragon in under 3 minutes, and some runs being under 2 minutes even. Got the uh, Arakir Manajuma's Angry Chicken Speed T10. This is the max cooldown reduction version where you're just trying to explode as Angry Chicken as much as possible. It's your main damage dealing ability. And Arakir got buffed by 300% in this patch, so it's even better. Then one other version that I do want to test that should be viable is Arakir focusing on Locust Swarm. We got the support dock for 100 plus G rifts or for XP runs. This is going to be your main spec for group runs. Unless you're doing lower level stuff, you can pretty much run anything. But for 80 plus XP runs going into the 100s for gym ups and things like that or for pushing, this is going to be your go-to. And if you click the build itself, it'll go over some variations depending on if you're running with an Archon Wizard or an Energy Twister Wizard and kind of what you want to do here and there along with a video. At the starter Zuni build, if you get your first set on the Witch Doctor with your Hadrig's Gift, it's going to be the Zuni set. And this is just a nice starter version of Zuni. And uh, if you click it, it'll go into some viable items that go along with pets and the Zuni build that you want to look out for early on. Things like Mask of Jerem, Taskers, etc. I'm going to put a link to this in the info section of this video. That way you guys can bookmark it if you want to. And if any of the builds helped you, um, another really easy way to support me, uh, if you want to kind of go above and beyond, is just to upvote the builds. Uh, upvoting the builds does really support the channel quite a bit and helps me immensely. You absolutely don't have to. It's not required, but it is kind of an extra way to support if you want to. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you in Season 6, and I'll see you next time.